Hello and welcome to Local Doctors on Call. I'm Alex Redmond. Well, welcome to Florida, the Sunshine State. We choose to live here. We walk on the beach, lie in the sun, and we play tennis. We drive convertibles and we ride bicycles. And yes, we get skin cancer. But it doesn't have to be that way. Regular skin exams performed by an expert can pick up on precancerous conditions and treat them. PDT, or photodynamic therapy, can destroy the sun-damaged skin, leaving only the healthy skin. This simple procedure can be performed during lunchtime and it has minimal downtime. Tonight, you'll see Dr. Heidi Anderson of Dermatology and Oculoplastic Consultants performing PDT on me to remove pre-Ks from my face using the blue light. She's trained in dermatology and pediatrics at the University of Cincinnati School of Medicine and specializes in family dermatology and in therapeutic laser treatment. Welcome back, Dr. Anderson. Thank you so much for the important topic today. And thank you for saving my skin because you picked up on a pre cancerous condition on the top of my lip. Barely noticeable. I thought it was just, you know, like a little rough skin. Uh, from being outdoors, I'm an outdoorsy person, mm -hmm. and you said, come on in, I think you have a pre-K. What gave it away was it was a red area, and it was active. It had scale. It had crust. For women, that upper lip location is really common. Fancy term is called actinic, which means sun and chelitis, which means inflammation of the lip. We call it little irregularity of Cupid's bow. So for me, I saw the texture change, but for most people, they'll notice, for women, that the lipstick bleeds a little bit. People will have AKs, or, because I'm abbreviating, sorry, actinic keratoses, on their nose, on their cheekbones. Later in life, if the hair recedes, we have it on the forehead right into the scalp. All right, if you'd like to call in with a question tonight, we're, we will be taking some phone calls, and the number is 361-4675. That's 361-4675. Even though you're going to see some video in a minute, we are live tonight, and you can hold on because we're going to we'll show the clips with two-minute clips and then another three-minute clip during the next segment. Now, with having a look at what I had, when, when you told me to come in for the treatment, I was really nervous. I thought, wow, she's going to put this thing on. You said it may sting a little. Um, what can you say to people to make them feel a little more comfortable? Because it really wasn't that bad. Totally varies people's response. So the, what I'm responsible for is the education purpose. I need to make sure, one, that you qualify, that you have a lot of sun damage or precancerous lesions. Two, that I do a fantastic job explaining what you need to do before, during, and afterwards so that you have the best outcome. All right, I think we should go ahead and have a look at some of the video that we have showing um, what I did when we came in there. And as we roll this video, you can go ahead and explain what's happening. Go ahead. The most important part is getting baseline pictures. These pictures here show us ultraviolet damage, so I can run a computer program on them. And it shows me at baseline what your skin looks like. After the pictures, we take them directly on the front and then from the side. We move into cleansing the skin. We're kind of using a wonderful tool called the Clarisonic. The Clarisonic gets rid of simple makeup, sunscreen, any dirt and debris from the day. Really important is acetone. So acetone removes oils. We do it aggressively so that we can get rid of thick scale so we can get my, my chemical right to your skin. This is the process of the chemical, Levulon. So Levulon is shaken and then applied to your skin. What I'm doing Photodynamic therapy is FDA approved for treating precancerous lesions. Things that are red, scaly, non-healing, they're very thin, they're very superficial, and if I can point out, you might have one on your upper lip. We treat it to be able to prevent skin cancer. Actinic keratoses run a risk of turning into squamous cell. We've kind of looked retrospectively or backwards, and about 65% of squamous cells have been derived from precancerous lesions. Not every precancerous lesion is going to turn into a squamous cell, but if we can prevent that, it's very worthwhile. Now, just by looking at this one, yes. can you tell that it's, it is still just a pre-K and not a squamous? I cannot. I know at a minimum it is definitely precancerous, mm -hmm. at a minimum. So how the process works, 
we determine that you do have enough photo damage and enough precancerous activity that you warrant blue light. Mm -hmm. It treats the whole field. So it, instead of just isolated on a cheek or isolated on a nose, we take a whole field like a scalp, a face, a chest, two hands, or one arm, and we put Levulon on it. So Levulon is a photosensitizing chemical. It preferentially gets picked up by precancerous lesions, even superficial skin cancers, because they are rapidly turning over. When a cell is rapidly turning over, clinically, so with a naked eye, mm -hmm. it looks red and scaly. So that's what you're seeing. I see redness and scaliness. Now, will I feel it with the parts where it's a little bit stinging? Is that the part where it's more uh, susceptible to being I would assume, precancerous? I would assume it's a little bit more stinging on that upper lip. Because when I take a good look on that upper lip centrally mm -hmm. and on the right upper lip, you absolutely have precancerous lesions. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are back in the studio, and what you just got to see was a little inside peek inside dermatology and oculoplastic consultants, the office where Dr. Heidi Anderson performed a precancerous uh, condition treatment on me using a blue light and PDT, otherwise known as photodynamic therapy. And I think that that was the first part of the treatment where you were prepping me and putting on the actual um, chemical on my face. Now, when you're doing that, what is it that you're looking for as you are applying each little dot and you're concentrating on certain areas? So, Levulon is actually a really in unstable chemical. So, it's actually contained in a glass tube. So, I'm making sure, one, that I adequately get enough Levulon on your skin, two, that your skin's absorbing it, and then if there's some areas that are thicker, drier, or more active, I may put a few extra layers. And that's what I did. I had to be cautious because the upper lip is sensitive, but for some people, cheekbone and hairlines, I'll go over with any extra ev Levulon that I extracted. And you even saw a little on my ear. <laughs> and you mentioned something for people to be aware of, which was a great tip mm -hmm. about driving. Yes. We have a lot of data that when you drive dominantly on this side, on the left-hand side, the left-hand side of your face gets minimal protection from the sun. Maybe tinting is a UPF, pardon me, an SPF of four. So people will have photo damage, precancerous lesions predominantly on the left side, especially if they spend a lot of time uh, driving. All right, if you'd like to call in with a question for Dr. Heidi Anderson of Dermatology and Oculoplastic Consultants, it's a great opportunity right now. I had to go into the office, but you can just pick up the phone, 361-4675. 361-4675. What's somebody's first line of defense against getting a pre-K or a precancerous condition? So prevention. Starting when you are young, as far as understanding the high UV index, the time of day that you should not be outside, the time of day that you should be outside, understanding beautiful factors of your UPF clothing, sunglasses, hats, and sunscreen. So prevention is the foremost thing. And, and after you've had a treatment, what can you do for aftercare? Am I gonna be more susceptible because I've already had a pre-K? So you are more susceptible, unfortunately, of getting another precancerous lesion. Part of it is uh, catching up to you, meaning photo damage and photo acceleration that happened years ago. Now that's probably why that precancerous lesion was expressed. And I will, I say to my patients, I'm not a Debbie Downer, I'm a realistic, and so that they are more likely, and so that's part of the education process, to describe what a precancerous lesion is. Now what about the fact that we've taken off a layer of skin? Does that also make you a little bit more vulnerable? Because I have this great new skin now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's a fact. After you age, turn age 30, we actually get a thicker, drier corneum, top layer of the skin. So that's why we do chemical peels, retinase, and PDT. I haven't made you really any more susceptible. I've actually allowed you to have exfoliation and back to healthy skin. Um, so i am renewed your skin and given you the responsibility of sun protecting it. And shaved off a few years as well. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and take a little break. When we come back, we'll show you part two of a three-part video of what happened inside Dr. Heidi Anderson's office at Dermatology and Oculoplastic Consultants. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Local Doctors on Call. I'm Alex Redman, and tonight Dr. Heidi Anderson of Dermatology and Oculoplastic Consultants is sharing what she did with me, with my face, on a precancerous growth in her office and how she helped me change my lifestyle and avoid a full-blown skin cancer. But first, we have a phone call. We have Kathleen on the line. Hi, welcome to the show. What would you like to ask Dr. Anderson? Go ahead. Uh, hi, is, is this a procedure or technique that you can find um, at any dermatological center or is this a special licensure? And also, um, is precancerous interoral um, technology available for this kind of procedure? So photodynamic therapy, many dermatologists do include it. Um, some are more proficient or more experienced or have a higher volume of experience in patients that they've used it for. Um, so in our office, we do a lot more during the winter times than um, summer, but we've had a great experience and feedback from many patients. Um, intraoral, you know, I absolutely, people have done photodynamic therapy in many other locations besides just the skin. I personally won't be completely proficient um, in talking about it, but I do know for um, precancerous conditions, because we worry about squamous cell inside the mouth, that it can be of a benefit, or honestly, sometimes people just simply surgically remove them. All right, Kathleen, thank you for your phone call. If you'd like to call in with a question, great time to do it, 361-4675. And we'll take that call right after we show you part two of the video, which is coming up any second. Um, we're we're going to show a little bit more about you applying the levulin, mm -hmm. and here it is. To remove all oils, to remove all scale, so that we can get levulon into your skin. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing that we do before we do chemical peels as well. Going back to the levulon question, it's, it's rather specific. It gets absorbed superficially, so just into cells. It is rather selective, so it is a targeted treatment. And it incubates, so after this, no discomfort whatsoever, you actually incubate for about an hour. Mm -hmm. Then with it being a photosensitizing chemical, when we put blue light on your skin, selectively it's gonna go where Levulon has been and it's gonna target it. So this, like I said, is FDA approved for precancerous lesions. We also use it cosmetically and we also use it for acne, primarily because oil glands also pick up Levulon. It can be like a medium chemical peel, has that same type of effect. So what I'm doing now is a different motion with any leftover chemical that I have. You will be extremely sun sensitive for 72 hours. I mean, some of my patients will say, does that mean I'm, I'm in the dark, my blinds are closed? Maybe not completely. You can go out early in the morning with a zinc oxide physical barrier sunscreen, but golf, tennis, midday, walking of the dogs, horseback riding, it's, it's off limits for 72 hours. You will absolutely reactivate your levulon. And that's when um, side effects occur. Side effects of if you touch your face too much when it's red and scaly in the healing phase, you can get a staph infection. Mm -hmm. If you go out in the sun and activate the levulon, you will get almost like a deep chemical peel slash burn. So that's why we give handouts to our patients. That's why we give hats and we also talk about a post-procedural kit that has a very gentle moisturizer that's put on multiple times, a physical sunscreen, a gentle cleanser. So the next stage after this is sitting for an hour incubating. Then after that, it's about 17 minutes under the blue light and they will seem like the longest 17 minutes ever. Since it starts so strong, people are panicked that it's gonna stay strong or get worse. Mm -hmm. Usually the last six to eight minutes actually are better and it does not get worse. So the cosmetic benefits that you'll see, you'll probably see some of your sunspots, some of your freckling go away, mm -hmm. peel off you really won't see any changes in the redness, the broken blood vessels, mm. the vascularity of sun damage, of photo damage. There's only one other spot that afterwards 
you know, a week or two out that we should make sure. You do have a really pink bump on your right temple. I'm not sure if you notice that. Um, we'll make sure it's not a little acne bump, not mm -hmm. something that just popped up since you can't give me a history. Um, but we want that to actually go away, okay? So sometimes I'll say to people that I'm clearing up the forest and I'm going to look for the trees. Meaning if we have a, just a tremendous field of photo damage, a tremendous field of precancerous lesions, the precancerous lesions go away and if something is strong or rebounded or red or scaly or worse, then I'm afraid it might be a squamous cell. So yes, you can actually determine, clean up all the camouflaged precancerous lesions and if something is red, scaly and worse, then I would biopsy to make sure it's not a squamous cell. So what we do now is we make sure, because we've instructed people ahead of time, that there's an hour incubation. Mm -hmm. And so you know, we provide you with something to drink, water, things like that. Also, people will typically read and relax for the next hour. All right, we've been watching the video taken just a few weeks ago when I was in Dr. Heidi Anderson's office at Dermatology and Oculoplastic Consultants getting a precancerous skin condition treated. Uh, Dr. Anderson, you can just, if anyone tuned in right now, you can just give us a quick recap of what happened. Uh, photodynamic therapy, PDT, is utilized to eliminate or decrease precancerous lesions. Precancerous lesions result from cumulative sun exposure and they have a risk of turning into squamous cell. So right now we applied a chemical and before we see the second or the third segment, you're essentially incubating before I activate the chemical to treat your precancerous lesions. Now, a, a lot of people are, get themselves all worked up because they think it's going to be so painful, so painful, and they get all scared. And you said to me, well, it might be a little uncomfortable to begin with, but I have to admit, it was not bad at all. The worst um, feeling was it, it felt like little pinpricks for a short amount of time. But at no point, I never took an aspirin or anything during the whole recovery period either. Now, I know it might affect different people different ways, but I, I can't see it being that bad. Your outcome um, and your, your experience is ideal. That's what we want. I can honestly say uh, I have a few patients that would never do it again, but their outcome was fantastic. It meant that during the procedure and maybe that same night, they were red, they were raw, they were uncomfortable, but there's ways that we can help people. Um, the majority find it extremely beneficial. We can actually repeat it twice, do it eight weeks later. We can actually do it a year or a few years later. So there are extreme benefits to it. All right, we have a phone call. We have Lisa on the line. Hi, Lisa, thank you for calling Local Doctors on Call. Go ahead with your question for Dr. Heidi Anderson. Hi, thank you. Dr. Anderson, Hi, thank Lisa. you for being on the show. Hi. I just wanted to tell you that your compassion and your just your gentle voice, the way you're expressing yourself with your patient, makes all the difference in the world. You are the type of doctor that will get people like me who are afraid to come in. So I want to thank you for that. Ab absolutely. Um, I'm glad that you had such a strong emotional reaction, and I, I want to be able to connect and educate my patients. Uh, I've, I've been pretty fortunate. So thank you for reaching out to us a lot. Wow, Lisa, what yeah. a great testimonial. That was yes. really sweet. And thank you for sharing. That was wonderful. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a little break. When we come back from our break, you will see part three of what happens after the Levulon has been activated. You will see my face all red and, red and ruddy with goggle marks. But it's well worth it. And then I'm going to tell you how I felt afterwards and what I experienced. So please stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Local Doctors on Call. I'm Alex Redmond. Dr. Heidi Anderson of Dermatology and Oculoplastic Consultants is sharing what happened to me during an exam when she picked up on a pre-K, which is a pre-cancerous condition on my lip. And actually, that's a pretty scary thing. I was actually really concerned because I thought I'm going to end up with a big gouge out of my lip. And had that turned cancerous, that's a possibility, isn't it? So surgery, if it turns cancerous, uh, so we want a surgical outcome typically. There are a few other modalities if it's full-blown cancer, occasionally radiation, and also sometimes precancerous lesions. Uh, we can use chemotherapy cream. 
But honestly, even in the right capable hands, people are phenomenally trained and experienced. I know in our office we have a very skilled Mo surgeon, and then I'm lucky my partner is a facial plastic surgeon, so he's in the closure. So yes, worst case scenario, we try to educate our patients, but we try to put them in the best hands so they can have a good outcome. And if you catch these pre-Ks early enough, does that mean that you will not get full-blown skin cancer if you catch it and you treat it and people are what, you know, the word is compliant. They make sure that they wear the hats, wear the sunscreens. You can have a really good outcome. You can. Uh, remarkably reduced risk of recurrence or progression. And so the treatment modalities, liquid nitrogen was the old-fashioned way. Um, if you have a lot of them or a few or they're new and early, you can use liquid nitrogen or cryotherapy. The other aspect you can use is chemotherapy creams, and that's another very reasonable modality, um, as well as the blue light. All right, we're going to go ahead and see the last piece of the puzzle here, which is what actually happens when that blue light goes on my face. So here it is. Here's the last segment of what happened at Dr. Anderson's office. There has also come about red light as well, and we're really specific. It's not at all laser. So it is actually a visible blue light. Most people think it's a contraption, so I hear all sorts of positive, negative comments, but the outcome is what speaks most. What I'm going to do is position it close to you. Okay. It should be about two inches, and as you can see, there are bulbs that go circumferentially around it. So I'm just going to move forward and position it so that you're about two inches close to the machine. We'll always be cautious of your shoulders. You to come forward. Good. And again, it's just about 17 minutes, so I think you'll do wonderfully. Depending on the wavelength of LED, blue light, or laser, that's how we determine what glasses are, you should wear to protect your eyes. You actually get swimming goggles. Too many of my patients say, oh, those are sun tanning goggles, but that's nothing that I know of. So they're swimming goggles. What I'm going to do is kind of bring the goggles from the front. If you want to take them with your hands and kind of put them over your eyes. Mm -hmm. And then I will pull through the back. And then we can see if we need to loosen or tighten them for you. We'll also provide glasses for everybody in the room. We'll also provide you with a fan coming in underneath by your right hand if you need it. Okay. Sometimes people just use it underneath their chin. And you are welcome to go ahead and take those goggles off. In the beginning, it felt a little stinging in certain areas, especially above the upper lip here, where I have that little pre-K, which is from the years of lying in the sun. So you young people out there, don't lie in the sun. Um, I think the prickliest, I, I would say that it felt more like prickly, as if it were little pins going tick, 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 but nothing, absolutely nothing painful, nothing to scream about, nothing to even use the fan about. And uh, it seemed to take two minutes. I believe I was under there for more than 16. So um, very easy and hopefully this got rid of anything on my skin that could possibly turn cancerous and got rid of some of my sun damage. You know, I, I have to say that the difference in my skin, I would say also the texture of my skin is far better, but I noticed that some of the little brown spots have also faded, and it seems that the color has just blended a lot better. And of course, I have the makeup on right now, but it, it felt so much better with, after the treatment. And the lifestyle, though, I, I have to tell you, I changed my life completely. Dr. Anderson told me, you need to stay out of the sun. From the moment I got to your office, when I'm outside and there's sunlight, I wear a hat, I wear my sunscreen, and I, I don't always wear the sunglasses, but you know, I've, always, I've always got a shade over my face, but visors down in the car, it, it's worth it. I, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that you've made great strides personally. Um, the other thing that we were able to follow is we took pictures of you before and afterwards. In those pictures, we were able to do a UV scan, so an ultraviolet scan. And we were able to look at pigmentation, and your pigmentation diminished definitely in the cheeks. We also clinically and objectively took pictures before and after to follow the precancerous lesion, which right now had calmed down dramatically on your upper lip, which is great.
Mm -hmm. what, what does the pigmentation mean? What exactly so is So pigmentation, that? it means the browns. So photo, meaning light or photo damage, what it induces, besides cancer and precancerous lesions, it can thin the skin, it can cause redness, so broken blood vessels, and it can cause brown or pigmentation, which is actually melanin. All right, if you'd like to reach out to Dr. Heidi Anderson at Dermatology and Oculoplastic Consultants, you may just pick up the phone and call 925-DOCS. It's a really easy number, 925-D-O-C-S, or simply go online to skineyedocs.com. The one thing I want people to know is that the recovery process, you said for some people it may be a little uncomfortable. The whole recovery, I think within days, I was able to come back and do a live show with, with my full makeup on. You gave me some great uh, makeup that had sunscreen in it Beautiful. to protect my skin. And since then, I've been cleansing my face and putting on the two moisturizers. I really didn't have a hard time of it. Do you think that was because I complied with what you said, how to take care of it during the recovery process? Does I that help? I think it's probably your skin type. I think it's probably because you had mild photo damage and few precancerous lesions, and you were great and compliant. So yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. And maybe we'll bring those pictures on the next time we see you. All right, and we'd like to thank you for taking time out of your very busy day to spend it with us on Local Doctors On Call. And remember, stay out of the sun because it's your health. We'll see you next time.